and welcome to Estonian Business School webinar. My name is Thomas and I'm going to talk about the uh, Master Programme in International Business Administration. But first of all, just a few facts about EBS. First of all, EBS is the uh, oldest private university in the region. Uh, we are now 20 years, uh, uh, eight, 28 years old and uh, we are founded by a business family in Estonia by one American and by one foreign Canadian, actually. So, secondly, Estonian Business School is the most international. Uh, about 30% of our student body is international. And uh, also about 20% of the faculty is international. And the third very important aspect about the Business School is that we are considered the most entrepreneurial university in Estonia and one of the most entrepreneurial in the region. Uh, one of the facts that supports this um, uh, kind of uniqueness is that we have been running business incubation services for the students over the last 16 years. And adding up the last comment on, on international is that at the moment we have more than 70 partner universities and 30 of them having the highest accreditations in the world. Meaning that coming to study in Estonian Business School, basically the world is open for you at the highest level in academic world. So uh, another interesting aspect, uh, what we have uh, among uh, differentiates among uh, other universities in Estonia and the region is that we have uh, two campuses, one in Estonia and we are also running another campus in Helsinki, uh, capital of uh, Finland. And those campus we have been running over the last four years and teaching there at the bachelor level and also at the master level. Therefore, it's very international having two campuses and uh, basically the big proportion of the students are coming also from the Finland to Estonia and studying in a Finnish campus. So, in Estonian Business School you can study bachelor level, master level and you can also study at the doctor level. Doctor level program is also a unique program which is the only management level doctor program in Estonia. Also, uh, we, also ha we have a uh, high school. Uh, which the other universities don't have it, but the kind of the privilege of us in, in uh, private university is really having the whole supply chains basically in, uh, in education in one place in Estonia, where those high school students already get really, really good attention and interest of what is going to on, what's going to happen in the future when they really continue in the business school. So alumni. Alumni is something we are really proud of. Alumni is that we have 5,000 uh, alumni and uh, if you look at the alumni profile then you really see very strong international aspect and also what you see is a kind of the positions they are occupying in international companies. They are occupying a positions like top level manager, middle level managers and what is more important for this program when we talk about business innovation program, not innovation program, but when you talk about uh, business administration program, then in business administration program, 45% uh, of alumni working as top specialists. And those top specialists, they work on in the field of finance, which is a very strong uh, field, what we are teaching, and also in the field of marketing, actually, which is very strong in Estonian Business School. And uh, if we look at the cross salary level, then uh, we are among the best uh, let's say, uh, uni best universities where basically when you graduate you earn the highest income in the, in the country and in the region. Uh, alumni is very active, uh, more than half of the alumni is very active and uh, let's say communication through the media, participating in events, taking part of these uh, corporate events is very, very, very highest level. And uh, also adding up the alumni international kind of aspect, then 22% uh, approximately about the alumni is working internationally in other countries basically, which means that uh, this is a kind of another dimension of internationalization when it comes to Estonian Business School. When you come to study, you have really broad opportunities to international career. So if we look at now specific about this international business administration program, then uh, this is a flagship program. This is where basically we started the master of uh, business administration, master programs in Estonia Business School. Uh, in Estonia we called MA, but it's MA is equivalent, equivalent of master of science program because this is in Estonia we just issue this kind of uh, degree in called in MA, but it's really equivalent and basically when you come over here you are going to follow the classical Master of Science program but with a really deep focus on marketing and finance. Um, 
if you have a bachelor degree in business and finance and you have really uh, kind of the will and the commitment uh, to become uh, internationally very strong in the field of uh, mentioned in the mentioned fields then of course the uh, master of business administration program is really something for you to apply for uh, also this is the, one of the only programs in Estonia where you can study international master program, especially in business administration, full in English for two years. And uh, when we look at this uh, combination of academic and the business side, then this program is very well balanced. You really get a very strong conceptual basis, which is really combined with uh, practitioners, very practical cases. Uh, we involve uh, corporate people, you basically learn how to really apply all this aspect in a real, practical, applicable way. Some more in-depth knowledge on specific field and also what you really gain a kind of general understanding. When you be want to become a manager in a specific field, you need a general understanding of the business and, uh, and economics, but then you will really jump into the deep uh, specializations. In our case, the specialization together with the master's the thesis will take about more than 70 credits out of 120, meaning that two-thirds you basically focus on specific field. And this is something going kind to of advantage. You will have a general knowledge, but at the same time you will go in detail, in depth with this marketing or finance knowledge. So, um, if we look at the methodology or the way we work with the students or the students work with the, the way with the t lecturers, then basically we have team approach in, in both ways. One, of course, team approach with the students, lots of teamwork, uh, uh, let's say, built into the program, built into the courses that you can really learn and master your professional skills like learning, uh, listening, team building, uh, presentations, all these kind of aspects that you really need to become a master in the specific field. And on the other hand, when you talk about team, then we talk about team teaching, because the lecturers, the very strong, uh, uh, having a very strong academic background, are, re are let's say, uh, coupled with the business people, practitioners from their field, and this really makes the teaching and the learning very specific, very strong, in very detail. If we look at the program structure, because as I, as I already mentioned, we teach finance and we teach also marketing. I'll give you a brief overview about the marketing. As I said, about 70 credits together with a the thesis, you're really going to focus on specific field. If you look at the marketing management, then you have a package of 30 credits. This, if you have finalized a package of 30 credits, there you have also elective modules. And then you can choose still a communication or you can go into the detail of creative industries. And creative industry is something very uh, specific also in Estonian Business School, what we have developed together with the industry. Very practical and with very strong partners internationally as well. And another uh, part of the program of business administration is the finance. And the finance has been kind of a very strong flagship part of our program in Estonia as an industry, a financial industry in Estonia is very strong, very advanced, very digitalized. And therefore, we feel that we take some part of responsibility to build a very strong ground knowledge in terms of finance. And if you look at these, who are the partners in finance, then those are the top of the world partners. We talk about CFA Institute and we talk about ACCA Global. Without them, we, we, without them it's hard to reach really top level knowledge worldwide. And this really distinguishes us in the region, in the Baltic and in the Nordic. Uh, if you look at this as a program structure, you see that first of you have core credits, then you have specific and marketing at different fields and the finance, and finally you have the thesis. But I will jump over to the specific marketing aspects to give some kind of idea what does it mean marketing. We are, we are not just dealing marketing at a very general level, but we are going in deep in the specific areas. And one of the areas which is really key and very topical to the world at the moment is the consumer behavior. Uh, international marketing, of course, we talk about marketing research, services marketing, even service design a little bit. And then, of course, the electives. You have quite the many uh, courses to choose among in order to really gain another 12 credits. 
And you see already in those courses as well, internet marketing, change management, these are the ones that today's organizations are basically really need. And, uh, and uh, what is a new, the new program, not the new program, but the new module that will add up another 12 points in the field of marketing, you can choose communications and creative industry. And there you see also the topics which are very topical and very useful for your future career, actually. So this is all about now about marketing. But uh, as I said, we have another very important part of the program, which we talk about finance. And with the finance specialization, I'd like to introduce Juan, who is really running the finance program. And Juan is also very experienced and having already three level of CFAs. And he's really, really the industry expert to tell you about why you need a finance in order to capture the world, basically. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, my name is Juan. I'm the coordinator of the major in finance. Uh, the major in finance is a specialization that really means running the business. You are doing the business administration. You want to run your business through the finance. And of course, we also can do different other different careers. Uh, the, the whole idea is that by combining your business administration program in general, with this specialization, which is very strong, uh, we can create real business managers, whether you're in a startup, you're running your family business, or that's your goal. Uh, but also for careers in consultancy, uh, the requirements for finance are very strong, while at the same time you should have a background in business. So it's, it's not knowing just finance, it's having the complete set of, of skills. Um, so on the other hand, we, if you want to be in investment analysis and uh, banking, whatever like that, uh, you still have a good, strong background in business. And those interested in a career in, in accounting, for example, uh, big four and the, that kind of uh, service providers, you still have the, the good background in business while you're very, very strong in finance. So how we do, we, do we do this? Um, we have these partnerships with like Thomas said, these are the gold standards in the financial world right now, the CFA Institute and the ACCA. Uh, CFA Institute in the investment side and ACCA in accounting and auditing side. Um, what we do with them is that we are the only university in our area, meaning the Nordics and the Baltics, to have this level of agreement of partnership with, with these institutions. So this is quite unique uh, to a school. What we do with them, we, are, we, we have the contents, the materials, their support, and with CFA Institute, we can actually talk about, if you're interested, we can actually talk about uh, scholarships to go ahead and, and then get your uh, CFA charter. This is an overview of the, of the courses that uh, comprise the, the major, where we're, we've split it in, in two semesters, and uh, you can see how the it's distributed, there's a basic, fundamental, uh, very strong quantitative uh, education, and then all sorts of investment courses that will set you basically more or less at the level of CFA level two. And, and also you, you can see by the icons which courses are based on which institution. And there's a wrap up course at the end that really takes you out on the street. It, it happens more outside of the school rather than inside where uh, you're going to get exposure to the real action of basically all of these fields. Uh, that's uh, that for me. And Thomas takes you further. Thank you. So just to wrap up, I will give you a few, uh, few slides also about admission. Uh, of course, if you really want to uh, apply for this uh, business administration program, either marketing or finance, that's very easy, actually. You go to the website, estonia.dreamapply.com, and you will submit your application. You just pay 100 euros. Uh, what documents extra you need? Of course, the proof of English, uh, international uh, different tests are applicable. We have named of some of them, for example, Yields, TOEFL, IBT, or Cambridge test. This is really required because it's a fully English program. Then, of course, educational documents, your, uh, your diplomas, because we need to prove that you have really acquired a bachelor or economic bachelor degree in economics or business. And you can really study 
and you're capable of doing it and you're as equal as good as your uh, classmates. And finally, of course, the easiest way is also the copy of passport. If you all submit those documents, basically you go to the application procedure. Uh, application procedure is the following. Uh, there, are two de there is one deadline. It's April 10. Uh, this is for non-EU students and this is a timeline. But don't wait the April 10. Just start already earlier because it may take time to upload in order to really uh, not to miss the chance of having uh, the being part of this really, really world-class program. And uh, the 1st of July is a deadline for those one who are the EU students or the students from non-EU who don't need a visa to Estonia. Those students have a little bit more time, but, uh, but you should also try start already quite earlier in order to be selected in the class of the best students for the finance or the marketing. Um, foreign students, common question is that can we work? Yes, you can, but uh, you should study first if you really want to make a career internationally, a very strong, a very promising career, then the study is more important than the work. Uh, if you really want to work, earn some uh, extra income uh, in Estonia, you're allowed to work, it's legal, you get the work permit, but the work should not interfere your studies. If it does interfere, does interfere your studies, and you will not able to uh, complete the credits, then you will lose your permits and basically you have, to, you have no chance to continue studies. Therefore, first you have to do the studies and secondly, uh, basically you could look up the, some job applications, job opportunities. But you can also work in a related field you're studying, either marketing or finance. This would be the perfect combination and definitely our, our staff and our partners can help you in this area as well. Therefore, it's... Uh, it's uh, time to start to, applicate, uh, to send your applications, go to the Dream uh, Apply website and you really get connected to our admission people. Thank you very much.